Welcome to another episode of Velocity Chaos! On this week's episode of the Velocity Chaos Podcast, Nick and Luke talk about useless world record skills, who a billion dollars is chump changed to, and are we no longer allowed to curse near animals? All that and more to come on the 24th episode of the Velocity Chaos Podcast. Like us on Facebook and leave us a voicemail at 151541-CHAOS. Okay, and welcome. Here we go on the 24th episode of the Velocity Chaos Podcast, coming to you at the speed of sound. How you doing, Nick? Good, man. Good. That was... I got a little intense there. I was gonna say, like, I can't. I got nothing to follow up. That's exciting enough. It's okay, but we're rolling right into it. This is fast. This is hot. This is uh, this is uh, velocity. This is chaos. This is precision. That's after I told you I didn't leave the house yesterday. So yes. I was like, what's going on? I heard that, and um, I was like, flip switch. We're totally engaged. I got a paper cut yesterday. Ooh, that hurt. that's like Just the kidding. worst no, pain in the world. No, I didn't. These dainty hands. I keep them far away from paper. Yeah, it's, it's rough edges. But speaking of world, I'm glad you brought the world up. I don't know if you ever heard of this guy. Because you could guy. go anywhere with that. Segue. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you heard of Guinness World Records? Uh, no, Luke. Tell me more. Oh, the Guinness World Records are a book of random stuff. Uh, I took out a, a adjective that uh, <laughs> that probably I'm trying to cut back on the uh, uh, cussing. Uh, Most sticky notes stuck to the yeah. face. So random stuff records like uh say um juggling well on a pogo stick that, that's a world record that's a world record um, somebody's gotta have it some guy's gotta have it uh how about uh farthest walking with a uh jug of milk on your head like for nine miles someone's gotta have that wow i mean why did why did it end do you really think they like lost balance no i think it's they like, just got bored i'm good i think they're like i want to break it later yeah i thoroughly <laughs> trumped this and it's done how many knives can you catch in one minute like what what who who attempts <laughs> that these? one could end that yeah, one could that, end that one can end poorly those uh, are the best ones the ones that yeah. could actually end in a in a, in a Bad way for them, good way for us. Exactly, because it's entertaining. We have Ashrita Furman, Ashrita. Guinness World Record holder of 131 world records, random world records. So she's the record holder for I the most records. I think it might be a dude. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Sorry. That's cool. I, you're not apologizing to me, so I don't <laughs> really care. Yeah, hey, look, look at this jabroni. It is a dude. Currently holds records for pogo stick jumping underwater for three hours and 40 minutes. Like, the sack racing. Fastest times for 10 kilometers. <laughs> He's sack <laughs> Like, who... Okay, some of these are kind of impressive of doing something like that. Just like, commitment. Yeah, just commitment sheer commitment. Alone. Yeah, but... I love how his website is Mr. Versatility. Yeah, he's pretty versatile. Um, no, uselessly <laughs> versatile. No utility, just versatility. <laughs> yeah, milk crate balancing on chin. Um, and what popped up one of these uh, one of these uh, news articles came up um, longest time balancing a lawnmower on on your chin. <laughs> that like, could end very poorly. Yeah, <laughs> as long as it's on. If they just put yeah. it up there, I'd be like, no, nah, yeah. this doesn't count. It's got to be. That's on. it. You just got lawnmower. I want it on. Uh, danger happening and you got to be mowing the lawn a vertical slice of lawn <laughs> vertical. <laughs> and weed whacking too like <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh it's it, yeah it's if you if you do this this many I, I don't know how to address like you're just like um all right i'm just gonna start throwing this ball at this square tile yeah. and uh i'm gonna say it's a record because i hit it uh, nine hundred thousand yeah. times in a row Steve McQueen in uh, The Great Escape. Just <laughs> throwing the baseball. <laughs> Be a great solitary confinement. That's the place to do it. Yeah. Can it's... I just make one request? Just a baseball and a, and a mitt? I got some record breaking to do. Yeah. <laughs> Please. And then... You've like done all the catching ones, all yeah. the throwing ones. You're like, now what do I do with yeah. it? Uh, can I get a pogo stick? <laughs> so... up, so shove it up your ass. <laughs> So I mean, not a bad idea. <laughs> speaking of useless stuff, fidget spinners. There's got to be a record for that, right? A mo- most fidget spun. I'm not against fidget spinners. I'm, I'm gonna come. I'm come clean. 
uh, for the record, I mean, it, it it is what it is. I mean, why what, I don't why do people have? I don't own one. I don't have a problem with them. Uh, although I'm not a teacher, so I don't have any uh, issues with people playing with them. Uh, first time I saw one, I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. Um, it looks silky smooth, but like I actually thought they were gonna be. Uh, like for for rich people for some reason I just saw a mm. bunch of preppy kids using them <laughs> on Instagram yeah it's like so cool yeah I was like what? okay there must be some weird technology thing in this and just I hope that trickles down to us poor people yeah <laughs> hopefully but it was 100 percent geared for us the whole yeah. time yeah they just got us fidgeting <laughs> <laughs> what if what if they were literally somehow generating electricity for like that'd be great just like. And it's like somehow every time I don't know. I think you're onto something. A fidget Unit. spinner phone charger. Yeah. What? Damn it. We always Could, say it on, on a it. podcast, yeah. and then somebody we're gonna save the world. It. Hey, this is. I mean, we well, somebody's uh, gonna take it. We have somebody's open. We have open sourced ideas. All right. We're, we're not here. We're for open the, source ideas. Yeah. LLC. <laughs> Revenue zero. Just, just as long as you give us credit. Yeah, for right now. Credit. and then percentage like after. mr versatility yeah. mr versatility give him credit where credit is due exactly glass bouncing on chin this guy probably bounces some balls on his chin <laughs> take shots fired <laughs> shots. But, but yes <laughs> one shot the- oh you, you missed totally missed that one you, you'll hear that in the playback uh, um so, so yeah fidget, fidget spinners you sent me the link uh a bluetooth fidget spinner so people can track how awesome you are with fidget spinning. How yeah. how much of a nerd do you have to be <laughs> to be like, I, I spun this so rapidly and I want you to enjoy this and look at this sweet transfer from finger to finger. Well, I think something. it's a combo tracker because like, like to keep it spinning indefinitely, you have to like hold it and then like so simultaneously precisely. flick it to your other hand and hit it again. <laughs> is that is that they showed a video. A they spin? Just, they're just somebody's hands just not even yeah. moving not even walking or whatever um but i need to rewind for a second okay because okay. we're talking about mr Versa- Mer- mr okay. versatility yeah I jumped, I jumped quick world records uh but the whole thing with the lawnmower got me thinking like what are the most deadly world records that have been set probably um longest time fighting with a bear that would be a good one i feel like that was like set a long time ago yeah. in like the middle ages they probably had like they some guy was thrown into a bear pit for for like sport and fun yeah. and like he ended up like lasting and everyone was just like you know by hour three everyone's just like this is the most amazing thing yeah. we've ever seen <laughs> he's a legend pull him out we're gonna give him a place of honor at our yeah. table and then that's when like the bear gets <laughs> like and then some other guy i think i could break that record <laughs> <laughs> done in two minutes yeah well, they probably have like longest living fight, and then longest or quickest not our longest death fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, no, no, no. So here's the crazy thing: these things are weird. This Most stuff, chainsaws. This, this stuff's cra- cracking me up. Number one on the list: strongest kick to the groin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real world record. Hey, you just got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> Someone set out to record the strongest kick to the groin on purpose. Kirby Roy, a karate black belt, has built up a tolerance over the years. Oh, my God. I was going to say it's either a monk no, no, or some no, sort dude, of martial dude. artist. He took a, a 1,100-pound strike to the groin from a six foot eight MMA fighter. He was unharmed. What about... Does, so does the MMA, MMA fighter have a stronger like straight punt or does like a, a football punt a place kicker? Like, because I mean, they're they're putting. A, I mean, probably the MMA fighter. They're pound for pound, probably. Well, more probably the MMA fighter because they're yeah. like trying to just kick solid. Like yeah. they're trying to kick a human. I mean, a punter or a punter yeah. And, well, I don't know though. Punter's leg might. But let's break. talk about let's <laughs> talk about the age old like what is worse like a full on blow to mm-hmm. the to the nuts or a flick a little flick. <laughs> Dude, always the it's the, the passing. Ones. It's the little ones that get you the most, and I don't understand it. Yeah. So, like, I mean, if 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 that if that punter just got in there real quick, like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, tap. a little quick tap. You feel that up in the stomach? <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm like, 
Covering my, over, yeah. yeah, I'm covering yeah. my balls anyway. I, I want to <laughs> see this video. We need to find this video someday. Um, we'll watch that one back. Remember, okay. 1100 PSI to the nuts. Holy nuts. I feel like that one, I feel like one's just going to pop yeah, that's, out, that's hit gonna somebody explode. in the eye. Just like, Did they check to see if he had nuts first? I was going to say, like maybe this guy didn't even. He's a eunuch. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> or, he's a eunuch. He was castrated. Balls cut off. Um, yeah. I know, I know we said we're, we weren't going to ever do like, Oh, remember that one time when we did this, but, um, I'm going to do it right now. We were playing ultimate Frisbee that one time. Oh and, gosh. um, I'm going to shout out to, uh, I'm just not yeah. uh, Pat. Pat. Uh, yeah. Um, there was a gentleman on the ground. They were both going for the Frisbee disc, two people, one guy on our team, one guy on the other team, both going for the disc. The guy on the other team fell to the ground. Our, our friend Pat was running catches the disc um full on steps on the guy's uh, nutsack straight up uh yeah we have actually a video replay of that one <laughs> yeah if you want to see that definitely go over to our uh, oh. facebook page oh now you, now i have to post it well yeah yeah it's, it's not well, available. it might be lost it might be lost, <laughs> it's lost but, it yeah is. And that was that was crazy <laughs> it was intense i remember seeing that i have like flashbacks of that yeah it was hilariously painful. That poor guy. Oh, man, I feel bad for I, that I guy. I was like, I'm so sorry as I'm laughing at it. <laughs> oh, it, it, that was bad. Uh, how, do I, how do I go on from there? What, what other nasty other ones, ones you got? Some guy ate an airplane. Uh, Wait. It took him two years to smash it apart and eat a Cessna 150. What? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, it just, he just... He just you can to, have that record. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I wouldn't... How do you even set out to do that? Yeah. I'm going to eat my airplane. Do you do you put that in like a magic bullet or something? Like piece by piece and like drink All it? I know is that you can see in the picture that his teeth are worn down to like little nubbies. Mm. That's weird. Most live rattlesnakes held in mouth. It's 13. <laughs> <laughs> At one time. Jackie Bibby is the guy's name. Yep. Most live rats. He looks exactly like you would picture him to look. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's bald uh, bowler cap with a earring. Basically, Mister Clean. Yeah. With a little um, crocodile Dundee mixed in. Yeah. No, your age old carny. Yeah. Um. We got. I. Do they still do car like carnival stuff like traveling circuses? Oh my god! Yeah, man. It's all those home days things that go on. Not. Not like uh, coming down to the festival or something, but I want I want just like, like real a carnival, circus. like a traveling carnival. Yeah, like a real uh, step right up. Look at this, we got the man woman. <laughs> step uh, right up and check out this weirdo. Yeah, <laughs> or are we uh, are we above that now in 2017? Maybe it's in a, America, but definitely not in other places. Yeah, vaudeville is 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 dead. I think, which is so sad. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Um, most motorcycles driven over the body while lying on a bed of nails. Thirty-one. Wait, was this a person driving the motorcycle is on a bed of nails nope. driving guys, over some other people? Here. Guys laying on a bed of nails and the motorcycles are driving on a ramp over him. Oh, okay, that's just uh, that one's yeah, it's yeah, kind of dumb. Air surface <laughs> area. <laughs> Apparently, it's like attempted all the time. Yeah. Um. So yeah, those are the top ones. Uh, what's this one? Highest okay, this one's good. Highest blood alcohol content. I'm pretty sure we've all gotten close to this one. Um, so the record was set at 1.48 percent. Oh my goodness! By an unidentified man in Poland two hours before his death. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it was was this planned or is they just going like whatever records that they have? Like, oh man, yeah, this guy's got a one point three percent. Oh no, nah, sorry, one point four, and you die anyways. <laughs> yeah, so that's what they said. Even though death is likely an, a likely outcome at point five. Wow. So he was three times, three times over. And here's the best part: he didn't he, act, he didn't actually die from the alcohol poisoning. You might be drunk driving? Yeah. <laughs> His motorcycle. <laughs> he made it home all safe and fine. He got in the garage, but he left the car on and he fell asleep on the stairs. <laughs> uh-huh. No, so it's it said the the man wasn't actually killed by alcohol poisoning by but by exanguination after crashing his vehicle. What does that word mean? I don't know. Spell it. 
E X S A N G U I N A T I O N. Um, I, mean, I can't do that. Uh, Guys, we're going to learn a new word. We're going to lo- learn some vocabulary. Oh, exsanguination. What does that mean? Exsanguination. Oh, my God. Okay, so he bled out. He Act bled of out. draining an animal of blood. He bled okay. out. He bled out. Sanguine. Oh, Exsanguination. There we go. We learned something we today. Learned Severe something. blood loss. Yeah, because his blood was so thin <laughs> from all the alcohol being in there. So they said that, like, body weight, 10 pounds. Or, okay, so if, if you weigh, like, 200 pounds, yeah. 10 drinks will get you to 0.9% alcohol, which is obviously illegal. Mm-hmm. But you, you literally, I mean, they don't even have it on here to get to one point, like, over one, like, 1%. Well, that'd be, I guess, 10 drinks in an hour, I guess. Yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah. But that guy had to have been like pumping, like, just yeah. like chugging. Line and line up of uh, shots. Like, yeah. Just all vodka. I've never done that. Um, I don't. Yeah. No. It's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't even like the alcohol. Anywho. Um, yeah. So those are, those are some of our favorites, favorite world records right there. Yeah. You know what else is messed up in the world? I'm glad you brought that up. World record holders. Yeah. The Google is a world record holder probably. Or world trend setting. Oh, it is company. now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um getting fined by the European Union, was that? Yep, the EU. Yeah. Um getting fined billions of dollars, two billion, uh, at least in this go around for falsifying uh, not falsifying, but um what is it? Promoting their results their search engine yeah. results before other uh, ad ad results. They basically um, broke an antitrust law. Yeah, can't trust them. Which is they were just kind of like setting themselves up to be the only shopping available. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say yeah, you can't trust the Google, but everything's integrated. We got Gmail, we got YouTube, we got uh, every everything else. All our Let phones. Let me email my family not to trust everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Reply to Enroyak at Gmail. <laughs> but, yeah, so I was reading that. They can, uh, for each infraction, and, and they have a couple other things that they're they're getting fined for. I didn't read too much into those. But yeah. each time they can be fined for up to 10% of their uh, yearly revenue, which is $9 billion. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, but for them, I mean, what, uh, $2 billion out of, out of $9 billion? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's like a fly. Like, mm, <laughs> you hear something? <laughs> and then they're just gonna appeal it. So. Yeah, they, they, they can't drag. take the money right until they drag on for years. Yeah. What? A, oh man, if you're a lawyer at Google and they're, you get assigned to that, you're just like job security. I guess <laughs> my grandkids are gonna be working on yeah. this case. Or they say, you better win this or you're dead. <laughs> yeah, not you're fired. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah, you're going to be sleeping with the fishes, see? Sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> and no one's going to know about it, and no one's going to believe you if they do a, a, a search. We're just going to wipe that search out. <laughs> <laughs> we have you, control of the search engine, too. <laughs> you're going to be erased from the planet. <laughs> we are literally, Google can make you not exist. What would be worse? I wonder what would be worse, like being complete, like just being dead or be like completely wiped off and then like even your family's questioning like they drop you in a jungle somewhere and then they wipe all trace of you and you just never yeah. existed and Medical does your family gone. even know do they do they keep remembering oh, no, or no. do they get men in black to yeah <laughs> <laughs> everyone i'm gonna and you only <laughs> have you only have one picture that you somehow smuggled out of you and your family <laughs> oh so you start kind of like tweaking out forgetting who you were and then you're like well you remember no no but like oh. like you're like is this picture real like do yeah. i really have a family and then yeah. you're all jason born and like <laughs> you come back and you like go to fight like the google, the google. <laughs> can we fight the google you start believing that you are jason born you have all these yeah. like skills and like you just but don't, I don't. You just don't. <laughs> that'd be great I guess the hardest part you would just be start convincing. brawling with a bunch of nerds at Google yeah. and like, ah, ow, my glasses! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Somebody's like skating away on their little like longboard, and you just like throw like a 
a, a stapler at him. And <laughs> throw, you wrap them up with HDMI cables. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, nerd massacre. Dude, that'd be, that'd be hilarious. I may not have any brains, but I got a lot of brawn. I You're I holding don't. like a like a oh, uh, roll yeah. of uh, paper towels. Paper towels, <laughs> like it's product placement for the movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I would want a product placement in a brawn. movie. Brawn. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with this craftsman hammer. <laughs> what? It's like the it's like the the peak of the film. It's like the it's like the epitome, and you're yeah. just like, <laughs> I'm gonna drink this Minute Maid orange juice real quick. <laughs> Just, or it's like clue kernel mustard with the uh, with the uh, Martha Stewart candlestick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, delicious treats in the Rachel Ray designed kitchen, I have not tried it yet, but I got um, Aldi's had this um, make your own uh, funnel cakes. Oh I'm damn! Give that a shot okay, the, okay. It was a spot. Um, I guess I'll have to update once I do try that. Uh, <laughs> totally derailed. Yeah, but that funnel cake is worthy of it. Yeah, so I'm hoping I get to try that. Um, so, I mean, speaking of the Google, um, uh, I feel like that's a the good... The main search engine of yeah. Velocity Chaos Podcast. Let's, 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 I think it's about time to plug our uh, our Google Voice voicemail for the Velocity Chaos Podcast. Yes. That is uh, 15 15 41 chaos. Uh, you can reach us, leave us a voicemail, anything you want. That's 1 512 4267. 15 15 41 chaos. Yes, anything you want. You want something to talk about. You want us to talk about something. You want to tell us something. Uh, you want uh, you want to tell us about your vacation. You want us to comment on that. You got a problem. Yo, we'll solve, out, solve it. Check out the hook while well, our DJ revolves it. Um, DJ, slay that Spin track. It. All right, we uh, we need to get a DJ in here, yep. but yeah. Anywho, yeah. <laughs> we both look to our lives. And it's like, well, there is room for a chair there. <laughs> yeah, there there is, and we have a piano just sitting right. Sound there. effects guy. Boop beep boop boop. <laughs> we don't need one when we got that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I think coming out of that, what else we got? We got. We had some big news for Rabbit Hole. Or what was the town called? Rabbit Hash. Rabbit Hash. <laughs> we got a shout out for our favorite little town. Yes. Uh, 300 people over there. Is that, it's Rabbit Hash, Kentucky, I believe. Is it? Was it Kentucky? I, I had to restart the computer, so I lost all the links. So we're just going straight off the memory bank. Yeah. Which so is not good. They just elected a new mayor. Straight up mayor. Um, you know, it's not your typical donkey. Not your typical elephant. Um... You know, um, it's not your typical chicken or your cat, but they've elected a dog as a mayor. Boom. Gotcha. Suck it, Republican, Democrat huh. people. Yeah, we got a new party. We, we got, got a the new dog party. party and it's actual dog. Bryn. Bryn the rescued pit bull. That's right. Is the new mayor <laughs> of Rabbit Hash, Kentucky. So uh, at first I like did not understand what was happening. I, I thought that like they were just so like we're over this bipartisanship. Like mm-hmm. we're done. And they just like did a dog <laughs> like, as mayor. Um, but <laughs> no, let, me, go on, let me, let me interject yeah. for a second. Uh, so what if the dog is actually running for mayor and then there's actually someone else that's actually trying to run for mayor. That's what I thought happened. Yeah. And then, and then, so, I thought that guy lost to a dog. All right. Polls close at 7 PM. We got a tight race here. We have Bryn the dog. Uh, up, uh, up 30, 30 votes here against uh, Fillard Seymour. <laughs> Fillard Seymour. The, <laughs> great grand descendant of uh, Philip Seymour. <laughs> then like, oh, dog, I hate that damn dog. <laughs> Every year. Every year. <laughs> yeah. And then he wins, and finally yeah. it's like, I can't take it anymore. He goes, yeah. like, hangs himself in the woods. Like, yeah. <laughs> Poor old Fillard Seymour. You know, like, I think we should all follow trends of this city. I think, like next election i feel like people would rather vote for a goldfish mm-hmm. than any other candidate that you throw our way like <laughs> i think this i think if you put on the ballot like such and such, an inanimate think, object like, i think look, this is a good idea yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the goldfish from uh american dead uh, yeah yeah klaus klaus <laughs> um but that just goes to show that and do we need mayors or do they just have such a small town that it doesn't matter what or, is a mayor exactly is it everything run by committee anyways i just think of that french uh musical 
Mr. Le Ben, Le Maire, Le Maire. Like the French people there are like, Le Maire. Like, I am not cultured enough. Don't call to, me uh, Le Maire. La- <laughs> call me by my first name. <laughs> call me Steve. Steve. Um, anyway. Or Bryn. So, <laughs> the, uh, this town actually has been electing animals since 1990, the 1990s. Oh. Okay, it's a 20 odd year tradition. And it's actually cool because they do it to raise charity because it's such oh. a small town that they don't actually need a mayor. Yeah. Uh, but they elect uh, um, an animal from the local town and uh, all the money, it's a dollar a vote and all the money goes oh. to charity to just upkeep in the town. And stuff Wait a like second, that. there's 300 people. That's so it's like $300. Like $300. So everyone's going to like donate $300. Um, basically, the... Keep your yard tidy, thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the first mayor was a canine named Goofy Bornman. Huh. Go- go- cool. <laughs> that sounds like a, a human's name for yeah. a mayor of Rabbit Hash. <laughs> Goofy Bornman. <laughs> um, no, please, just call me Goof. <laughs> <laughs> goof. The Goof. Mr. Le Goof. <laughs> Goof Bornman. Goof Bornman. Dude. Goofy was my father. <laughs> <laughs> or was it Donald? <laughs> I'm naming my kid Goofy. Goofy, Goofy Royak. Goofy Royak. <laughs> Goofer. Goofy Horvat. Goofer Royak. Goober Royak. <laughs> what is he, a goober? <laughs> Goof, Goofy Goober. Goofy Goober. Oh, God. Oh, God. Kid would be toast in yeah first grade actually i don't know no, we're, he'd be we're the pretty, popular kid yeah. in first grade we're pretty progressive uh, everyone be like goofy that's so great and he'd be like hey, hey. he always wears cool sunglasses and in high school he's just like wearing a hoodie with the hood up sunglasses yeah. like still yeah. keeping the sunglasses but yeah. now they're more to hide his face yeah, and his tears yeah so popular but he's so dead inside oh no he's not popular in high school people just ridiculing him. oh people finally realized and then he starts writing rap music and becomes like the most famous rapper. Yeah. Goofy. Goof. The goof. <laughs> You're going to goof you. I'm going to uh, goof you straight up. Straight up rap battles. Coming at you hot and heavy. I'm going to goof you straight, uh, slow and steady. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that, was, that was me goofing. Yeah. You just got goofed. I'm going to clown you, right? Straight rap around you. <laughs> your alter ego man is, the goof this is a character the goof I, I only can only spit like one line every 30 okay. seconds wait the, the, that's crazy though you have the goof now and <laughs> back when i was at in, working in the i was like working in an office environment back in the day yeah and uh gave that up for the life of podcast and and video yeah <laughs> but uh it's a glamorous lifestyle to to keep it to keep it real um my my coworker and I, cause there's only one of us, there's only one peer in the office. Oh. So her and I just like hung out a lot and like chatted a lot while we were doing menial tasks. And I came up with a persona called DJ Pringle. <laughs> it's crisp. <laughs> Who's just a crispy mother. <laughs> he's just like, I mean, you got that voice over there. I mean, it's yeah, but he's, <laughs> it, it, the voice is not that though. The voice oh. is different. He's, he's, oh, I rap my snack time. It's snack time up in here, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so it's DJ Pringle and the goof. Yeah, and the goof. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, and this all plays back to my godparents uh, when they went to um, Disney World and they brought me back a goofy cup. Um, I love how <laughs> the story was that they went and they, they're your godparents yeah. and they went. Well, they, they went with their family. They take you. Well, they went with their family. I know, but <laughs> yeah. they didn't take you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a pest. I'm Does a that goof. bother you? Does no. that bother you? I don't know. Does that bother you they didn't take you? No, because, I mean, they're they're godparent. Underlying psychological damage. I don't think so. What are you getting at? (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It's great stuff, great stuff. But, yeah, I guess um, we got the goof here. Ha, yeah. (laughs) DJ Pringle. Yeah, it's been in live from the Luke Covet Studios, man. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, we got got that guy. We got the other guy. Um... (laughs) Oh jeez, did I get lost? Where we? I got this. I've got, been dubbed Goofy Goober. Yeah, well, you're the goof now. Goof Bornman. Goof. <laughs> Change your identity. I'm Goof Bornman. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. So we kind of ran through our topics. We ran ran through hot and heavy. 
Uh, well, what do we have? Um, ba da ba ba. What did, what did you find? We got some Australian you news found some this week. Hot Australian news. So, this was pretty good, actually. Um, there is a sheep farm. There's a sheep farm that's in big trouble in Australia uh, this month because the headline reads. Aussie sheep station under fire for cursing at animals. So PETA is all over this this farm. Uh, oh my god, uh, it's called Burungi Burungi Station Sheep Ranch in South Wales, Australia. Is facing accusations of animal abuse from people for ethical treatment of animals. PETA, if you haven't heard of them, mm-hmm. um, you don't love animals if you haven't heard of them. Yeah. Anyway. Animal hating SOB. An animal lawyer, uh, Nicola Donovan, uh, is quoted to saying, "Well, they they argued that is it a man or a woman? I don't know. It's That's why I said that." Nicola uh, argued that verbal abuse of quote an extreme nature unquote could constitute quote an act of violence unquote against an animal. So. But I don't know what kind of words you have to use. Like mm. wolf, like wolf. You're a wolf. You're a bad sheep. You're bad. You're no good. You're bad <laughs> sheep. Oh, what is this racist? Oh <laughs> god. You're a bad sheep. Uh, no, Wait, that's interesting. So, so maybe maybe it's just intensity and tone more than the actual words that are being used, right? Like. Like if you say, I, I love you, like, but you say it in an angry way. That's uh, probably what it is. Yeah. Yeah. If you were just like really passionate. Yeah. But, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, Animals are smarter than we think. Cause I think like, well, it's just built into their biology that they can, you know, they make different sounds. Yeah. So we make different sounds. I'm sure they can pick on which ones are, are good, which ones are bad. But what's crazy is, um, there's this is also a great piece of news coming out of this article there's an anti-cussing league run by this guy james o'connor and he runs this thing called the cuss control academy and i have to read what this is i didn't go into this earlier but okay cuss control so what's wrong with swearing tip 10 tips to trust your tongue this is an actual website guys (laughs) cusscontrol.com Come. Watch your tongue. People judge you primarily by the way you speak. You can only go so far if you look good but sound bad. Hmm. The Cuss Control Academy has two purposes. To increase awareness of the negative impact bad language has on society and on individuals who swear too frequently or inappropriately. Sounds like D, our producer. <laughs> she's a frequent uh She's a frequent fracker. partaker of the... Yeah, frequent <laughs> fracker. Um, fries and fries and <laughs> To help individuals and groups eliminate or reduce their use of profanity, vulgarity, and offensive slang. Huh. That's nice of them. Cuss control the book. Now available. So, so do they just give you other words, um, like just to replace those bad words? Or is it controlling the urge just to exclaim something like, uh, <laughs> we go like what the biscuits? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think people have to let it out verbally. Yeah. I think in some ways people have to let it out. Um. I th- I think they're swear words just because they're such good words. I mean, they they just roll off the tongue. Whatever emphasis that that's being put on, just just the way it comes out is just so good, and it feels so right when you're saying it. It it soothes. It's a uh, cathartic in a way. Yeah, I yeah. agree. And I don't know. I uh, I really don't know why, except for the like, except words originating from a derogatory term, you know. I don't understand why, like, I guess, I don't understand yeah. why damn is so bad. Or, you know, is, like, it? is it? Oh, I thought I that one know. was, you can let that one fly. I go by the TV rules. I try to live life by the TV rules. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, so it's like, damn's on the table, hell's on the table, mm-hmm. uh, shit occasionally, um, bitch I try not to say because... It you know it's is little, offensive yeah unless you're being a little bitch but I let I let an f bomb drop every once in a while like Breaking Bad style you know like yeah. every every couple episodes I'll, I'll <laughs> go in for it and just beep you know bleep it up bleep it up 
<laughs> so anyway, I wish they would have got a reaction from these um, sheep shearers that work on the station. Because I bet you they're just like, yeah, I don't give a we, shit. <laughs> yeah, they're just wearing this in their response. How many how many sheep do you have have you shorn? I I don't think I've ever shorn a sheep. Thank you. I just wanted to use the word shorn. Yeah. <laughs> How, but how many how many sheep would have to be sheared in order for a sheep shearer to be considered a sheep shearer? How many shearing sheep? How many sheared sheep? I don't know. I'd have to ask my friend Jimmy Shear. <laughs> I really have a friend named that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going on with the uh, the uh, no, it the was, rhyme but, along, but it was but it tied it in oh, real wow. life, anchored it, anchored Boom. it. Boom. Bring anyway, it home. so here's the last line of the article. As bad as cursing may sound on some ears, human or animal studies suggest that it can provide pain relief to the person with the potty mouth. Uh, see? So, but this is a classic case of yeah. pain relief for you, but pain incursion on somebody You're else. You're just giving it right back to That's something else. That's what I'm saying. And, yeah. and, I mean, so what? Like we can only swear at trees, at couches, well, at rocks. Well, okay, this is actually, I was going to bring this up. Um, I don't remember the results, but Mythbusters, they did a, a test on, you know, like singing to your plants or talking to your plants helps them grow. I totally don't remember, but I totally want to check it out. Like, so if you sing to your plants uh, in a nice way, or if you if you yell at them angrily, or if you talk to them nicely, but using hurtful words or opposite, where you yell at them with nice words, kind of all those combinations, yeah, yeah. like, first off, does it even matter if you with plants, like? But does it, is the same thing happen with animals? Do they are they just do they feel whatever feeling that you're emitting not exactly the words that are being said? Right. I think I think that's what it comes down to. Because mm-hmm. what what if you just throw off an f bomb, like you stub your toe? You're not yelling at something specifically, but you're yeah. just like exclaiming. What if our culture was totally built differently? So instead of using actual swear words, mm-hmm. what if our culture was built on just like yelling? <laughs> like I'm really mad at you, and I would just go, Luke. <laughs> oh, you yelled at me for an extended I know, but period I didn't, of time. But I didn't call you a name. Yeah. I didn't hurt your feelings. I didn't criticize you. I just yelled, <laughs> just yelled. at you. That's it. That's the, that's the problem solving. That'd be hilarious though, because I you just hear two people in the park just. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What just turned into a culture of just yeah. screamers, just, just, <laughs> just people like yelling at each other, like, but not saying anything, yeah. just screaming. Oh, that'd be hilarious. I didn't know you felt that way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, that's like, okay, so I got something I, I, I want to bring up. I have a confession. Okay. So I didn't leave the house yesterday. Nice. And to, to wrap up the day, I watched Disney's Moana by myself. Okay. So I'm not sure how I feel about watching a Disney princess movie by myself. Is that the Hawaiian princess? Yeah. Okay. All I got to say is two things in my defense of any criticism. Dwayne the Rock Johnson voices the character in it. Two, it's animation. So it's art. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Anyway. um, So it was big on the Maori culture kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's a huge Islander uh, type deal. And I was reading a little bit about the origins of the movie and about the culture of New Zealand and the Maori people. Yeah. And there was a brigade from New Zealand built out of Maori warriors that fought in World War II. Hmm. And as world, like Australia was attacked and stuff and those islands were kind of invaded and like the New Zealander guys went out to fight, they would do their war chant called the Haka yeah. in the middle of the night. <laughs> which if you google haka is like yeah. the guys like like slapping their like arms and just like their thighs and like just yeah. Ooh, yeah, ha, ja, oh my yeah. and like they just said like one of the one of the generals uh was quoted one of the uh, opposing generals was quoted like if i had to take hell i would pick the australians to take it and the new zealanders to keep it <laughs> <laughs> Cause they just like would scream and shout this shit in the middle yeah. of the night and just like just <laughs> scare the crap out of people because they're just you're just sitting there in your bunker and you just start hearing that. Yeah, just like, yeah we're gonna go. We're we're, we're done. We're, they, we're leaving. They, yeah, they were. Well, they were also highly decorated and extremely like 
lethal. Yeah, powerful. Yeah. But they also suffered the most casualties because I think they just like were insane. <laughs> like they just, yeah. just were started Kamikaze. running around just like yeah. Careless. Yeah. So But deadly all in the same. So I mean I think I think with that, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, that we can carry on uh with our life. Sometimes you gotta be passionate about, about the world and you gotta fight for, for what's yours and, and you gotta keep those rituals and the the, the legacies going and and the long running uh, things that you have uh, in your chance and in your lifestyles, just keep those running. Because sometimes uh, maybe maybe you throw a dog in office, and that's the new new thing that you, your town does. You, you you pick an animal each year and say, "Hey, it's, it's it's just a symbol, anyways." We can, I mean, can't we all live our own lives, anyways? Do we do we need someone telling us to do? Do we need to be uh, grabbed by, um, you know, the balls, or uh, do we need to like balance a uh, lawnmower on our chin just to just for people to notice us right really is is that what we got to do we got a pogo stick underwater or unicycle juggle for nine miles just to just to make the world happy because you know the world really when it comes down to it right now the world is the google the google and uh the european union is going to take down the google right now or at least knock them down a peg put them in their place saying hey just because you're everywhere doesn't mean you can't do everything that you want to do. There are still still rules and regulations. So kind of maybe guess a good thing that there isn't a dog in charge of that uh, operation going on. But maybe there is some dog we don't know. It's all run by committee anyways. But a- anywho, I mean, maybe you want to get your uh, your fidget spinner uh, stats tracked. Huh? So get that Blu-ray coming out in September. Not Blu-ray. Uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth app. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks if you want to get a <laughs> Bluetooth fidget spinner. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's. I think that's. I'm gonna say that's worse than the the, the world records. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's what I've got for you today. Um, the world record for most expensive fidget yeah, spinner. That's true enough. Actually, one I do. I want to take a moment right here. Um, I just I just want to thank you all so much. No, sorry. I don't, let me take that <laughs> off. <laughs> I, I want to apologize straight up from the bottom of my heart. Um, I have not been getting these episodes out on time. I have uh, we've we've been getting them done, and I've just been sitting here not not publishing them, um, just being a, a real dingus. So I apologize. We're gonna get this one out hot, fresh. If not if not later today, um, definitely tomorrow, and, and it's gonna be great. Otherwise, Captain Daddy's going to come have a talk with you. That's true. Number one fan, Captain Daddy. Yeah, number one fan. Uh, so thank you guys very much. Um, you could be the number one fan if you call into the Vossi Chaos hotline, for, uh, 1515-41-CHAOS. That's one, 515-412-4267. Um, if we don't see you, hear from you, um, talk to you uh, by 4th of July, which puts that a week from today, uh, have, a, have a great Independence Day. Have a great Independence Day. Remember something thank you guys so much bye